Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekender Show. We're into Saturday, we've been out and about today at the North Liverpool JFL. Hope you've had a great day, whatever you've been. If you've had Grassroots Football today, if not, did you have, well you've got it tomorrow surely. Anyway, it's getting mild and a little bit but cold. It always is. At the end of the day, what more could we ask for? We haven't had that bad weather. Touch wood, Nathan, you're going to be on the, well, everything, the phone, the whole lot. You're going to be blaming me if it really does turn gangster, aren't you? Forecasting a nice warm day every day. Well, there you go. We're not going to anyway. But I hope you've had a great time wherever you've been, especially if you've been a referee and you've been out the boat today. Um, great officiating, as always. Great team spirit, great football, kids are all smiling. What more could you ask for? And we saw some presentation. So well done to the teams that won the trophies and commiserations to the runners up as well. We enjoy it. Those seasons, those weeks fly, don't we? We've only just kicked off and we're giving out trophies already. What's going on in grassroots football? Anyway, well done to all the teams who were, uh, they all took photographs, they all enjoyed themselves. And what more could you ask for? Well done to Bob. Bernie and also Julie, uh, non-stop. And also the staff, they work very, very hard in there, the Geoffrey Humble, I must admit, always a smile on the face, always on the go, always making sure that people get served very, very quickly within the cafe. You've got to praise them, they are spot on. Okay, when they have bursts and loads all come in there, what I mean, bursts of crowds, oh dear me, just forget about that, that one, eh? Anyway, we had a great show last night with the young commentators, what do you think? of the t-shirts. The kids are really, really proud of them. I'm proud of the kids wearing them. They've been waiting for ages for them. What more could we ask for? Honestly, we got them thanks to Rob, the referee, Bits and Bobs man, Rob Lindsay, superb, and also the badge man as well. What more could you ask for? Hey, absolutely superb work. Team wear together. One of our suppliers, Rob, is, and he's done a great job with me. Over the last few weeks, we talk non-stop. Rob goes out refereeing as well. So he knows a thing or two about officiating out and about. And he has come across his problems as well. He's been threatened, just like many referees out there as well. But obviously, when the youngsters, Rob is one of those experienced referees, shall we say. He has no messing. And just needs more support from his local county FA, like many other um, referees do indeed and you see this all over social media about more support for the referees of the county FAs well I know it's coming I was talking not so long ago to our local county FA and things are really hopping up and obviously there's going to be consequences regarding verbal abuse and aggressive behaviour towards our referees especially the youngsters as well who were under safeguard and watch by the way and that's what some of these adults don't understand it is a safeguarding issue and it can be very very serious indeed so before you go on and start shouting at that young referee remember it could be a child of yours would you like anyone to shout and scream at that referee if that referee was your child ah come on she was on the other foot what would you do start thinking about that as well because many of the people who were accused have got kids playing that's what baffles me you know they don't realize that the kids are out there they're impartial referees are impartial all the time this is what it is. They go out there to earn a few bob. That's all it is. There's not that isn't um, payment for you as a parent, spectator, or even a coach to start shouting verbal abuse if you think they've got it wrong. They're trying their very, very best. They don't mean to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We're only human, after all. Remember the song. That's what you've got to remember. Just say that a few times before you go out and watch a game. They are only human, after all. Leave them alone. Forget you were there. Just applaud your children. Encourage the kids. Because we're all kids once. We all love that. We all have our memories back in the days when we all used to love the support and people encouraging yourselves from the touchlines when you're playing football. Do you remember? Well, that's what the kids want today. Encouragement. Because that stands out in their mind. They look for encouragement. They look to the mums and dads for encouragement, not what to do. Because I've heard some mums as well out there shouting where to pass it, who to pass it to, keep running with the ball, shoot. Come on, come on mums please as well. I'm hearing it, week in, week out. I'm stood on the touch lines and you know all the guilty ones. And do you know what, the good thing about it last week was watching my grandson, you'll love this one. This is fantastic. Um, we had one of the young mums 
um, who, let's just say, swore a little. And I was on the touchline watching the game. Give that mum a due. Apologies come over to me. And she actually put it in the WhatsApp group. I'm not in it, but I got the message back. Apologising to me for being like that on the touchlines. Because I did go over and explain. I said, leave all this to the referee. Just encourage your child and leave it to the coaches when they go on there. If your child gets injured, it's one of those things. It's a game of football. And do you know what the, the, the girls did? They respected that. And I'm sure they're going to respect me because I have my T-shirt on, my badge on. And also, I'm very, very quiet on the touchlines when I'm watching my grandson. I've got to be impartial, as they say. I really do. But I listen, I take it all in from both sides. Don't get me wrong. And that's what it's all about. And also, I encourage the referee out there. And the referees have had some great games. Don't forget, these kids are only six, seven years of age. They're only developing their skills, just like those referees. That's what we've got to learn. Those referees, a majority of them are school children as well. They're still at school. So take that into account when you go out and about and you watch games of football. And it was great meeting up with the referees, especially Tony Mallon to, um, today. Just, dear me, um, I'll tell you more about that one tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, that man is just something different. He's an official. And he, what a character he is, honestly. I'm going to try and get him into the studio one day. But you know what? It'll take me about two or three hours trying to get something out of him first. Because he just wants to wrap it on and start having a laugh. You can't get any seriousness out of him. Any sense talking to me. He's sensible on the field of play. Don't get me wrong. I'm not running a referee down there. But when it comes to an interview, he just wants to make crack jokes. And so maybe, maybe that's what we want because it... It, it stays it up from me, doesn't it? Gives me a little break, bringing people in. And I keep promising you, people are coming in, like our young commentators last night. Honestly, we just need to get one or two managers coming into the studio, and we will. But things are hopping up as well. Don't forget, we've got the uh, Hadrian's Wall War, skydive as well. In between that, we're trying to organise things, or I'm trying to organise things around that, trying to get the team together. And we've also got a skydive on July the 12th, 10th. Should I say that's on the Sunday going down to Blackpool, our ones in Shotton. That is going to be finalised next week. All of it's going to be finalised next week. So if you're in, you're in. If you're out, you're out. I'll have no mess in this one because I can't run round everyone saying, oh, wait, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and wait for me to get in touch with you. You're the one who's supposed to be in touch with me. I'm here seven days a week. Please take the workload off me and give me a break and start getting in touch with me. If you want to do it, then I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Just get in touch with myself at mal at don't text the line .com. Add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social network sites, please. DM me. You've got all my details. See me at the football. Don't stay away because every day you stay away is a day closer to you doing that skydive. We've got our team sorted out for Hadrian's Wall. That's not a problem. And Jack, who was in it last year, he's dropped out. Said he's going on holiday. Come on. Come on, Jack. Oh, whoa. And we've got Thomas who's going to replace him. And it didn't take long to get someone to replace a fellow walker and skydiver as well. They're all up for it. They're all geared up for it. And it's going to be hard. And even Gary, honestly, we'll get Gary in to tell a story. We'll get our, our um, team in individually, if you like, or maybe one, two or three of them. We'll talk about it and what you can do to help out as well. But we're trying to arrange a meeting for this coming Monday. And obviously, if I get it, I'll get the notes. And maybe, as I say, we'll get them into the studio, especially Gary. I want Gary in the studio as well. And tell me, because I know he's working really, really hard. Same as myself. Done a 12-mile walk the other day, 12.1. I've done 11. I didn't expect to go that far. I really, really didn't. I was in pain when I got back. I wasn't in as much pain the next day. And the next day after that, I was walking okay. It's going to come and go. That's the way it is. I can't do a thing about it. I'm going to take painkillers. I'm going to get strapped up. I'm going to see my physio and I'm going to be raring to go. I do not want to let anyone down that I am raising money for. And that's me. That's me all the way. Honestly, kids with mental health issues, vulnerable children, you know, this is what we're after within grassroots football. And we appeal to yourselves, your good selves, to help us. It's the grassroots family that we're aiming for. You know, if every one of you players, your team, just donated one pound, from your team into the Heart of Gold initiatives, our GoFundMe page. How fantastic would that be? 
because we want to help out as many kids as we possibly can. Now I'm watching all kinds of stories involving kids and they're really, really upsetting. And um, I'll bring all them to you as we go along. You can go onto our GoFundMe page, you can get that off the Hearts of Gold initiatives which you put the post up day in, day out. GoFundMe, Heart of Gold initiatives, DXDL, Heart of Gold initiatives. It'll come up and you can just donate on that one and leave me a little message as well. If you want it read out, if you want to stay anonymous, it's entirely up to yourself. I will not read it out if you do not want me to. Just put on a little comment if you would like, because I read all them and I send an email of thank you. Because without you, we couldn't do all this. We could do the walk, we could do the skydive, yes we could, but we couldn't do the, you know, what we want to do for the kids, help them out within the mental health capacity side of things. This is what we want to do. We want to encourage more kids to get involved in what we're doing and involved in young commentators. Um, anything that we can offer, we want to get you involved. We want to build the confidence of those children as well. They have a future. We have the future to help them to make their future. If you can help us, we can help them. It's as simple as that. Please go onto our website, mal at don'ttextheline.com. That's my email. Don't know why I said that. www.don'ttextheline.com. You can see our Heart of Gold link on that one. You can go onto social media. If you're a friend of yours, you're a friend of mine, I'm a friend of yours. If not, add me as a friend, tell me what it's all about, and we can go from there as well. And if you wanted to get involved in anything that we're doing, why not get involved in the 12th of March? We're doing a walk from Warrington to Liverpool. That's just to keep us fit. But obviously, we can fundraise on the way, or you can join the walk and tell everyone you're joining with us on the walk, the 26 mile walk. You can fundraise for your own initiative or what your cause could be. You can go on, join us and raise funds and we'll do a little Facebook Live because Colin Fulton's there and he loves his Facebook and he gets a lot of people viewing in, I tell you that. I couldn't do it because I can't hold the phone, I'm terrible mate. Anyway, we just want your support, we want everyone's support us. If you can add your support, fantastic. You know, we don't ask for much. What you can afford is ample enough. Every penny counts. That's what it is, is all about, isn't it? Support us, help us, and back our Heart of Gold initiative. The team will all be on here, telling their stories, getting you involved. You can fundraise with them. You can fundraise with us. You can just get involved and just help the kids out. Anyway, that's the 12th of March, Wellington to Liverpool walk. It's, well, it's the 12th of March at the moment. If no one join, joins up and they can't make it on the Saturday, we could change that easily within the midweek war. Because myself, Paul, are the main men anyway, we're organising it all. Chris could come along and we're just going to set off on a walk. It doesn't bother us. It's just to get our fitness up. And obviously, if you're coming on the walk, just to see how hard, if you're doing Hadrian's Wall, how hard it's going to be for you. So you've got an idea of what, what to pace yourself, where to go. We have... You know, we're not all thinking that we're going to complete this because it's going to be really, really tough. It's an, the end product of 84 mile over the three days. 74 mile, 75 mile it was the original. Another nine mile. Can we do it? There's going to be seven episodes. Episode one is where we get our stamp. We start off as Wall's End and then we finish. We finish with a flourish. I'm not even going to tell you the name of the place where we finish because, I don't know, could that be counting chickens? I'm not too sure. Anyway, support us through it. We'll give you the build up, seven episodes, and we'll be filming that and send them back all the information. We're gonna make it really, really good. It'll be like a free part one, part two, part three, part four. Will we make the seventh? I don't know. But we're gonna try our very, very best. The way I am now at Nagali, I'm only doing 11, 12 mile. Um, okay, it could work out 24 mile a week. I wanna get up to 30 mile per week. That's going to be 30 mile in one day, 30 mile in another one day, 26 mile the next day. Can we do 26, 24 mile on the third day? But 24 mile, I can imagine our legs, imagine our muscles, I can imagine the willpower that we're going to need. We want to get through it. We've done the National Three Peaks. That was tough. That was tough getting up there and getting down in all the speed that we were doing. This is just walking. When I say just walking, it's going to really, really take it out of us. And it's going to be hard. Skydive first. Let's hope the weather is perfect for us. The day is perfect. After the skydive, we're straight into the walk on the Hadrian's Wall. 
not on the wall, along the wall. But I know the 30, uh, well, 35 mile, I was watching um, a programme, there's no wall for 35 mile, so it's a compass and follow the acorn signs apparently. Let's just hope we go the right well, way and we will be looking for buried treasure as well. No, we won't. We're not taking spades. No, it's not anything like that. We're just taking ourselves. We won't be there looking at the sites. We are going to be focused on the walk, even though we're coming across the sites. Wow, as we take pictures on our walk, that's when we're going to send it all back to yourselves. That's when you'll see it. But we're going to continue our walk. We're not going to stop off and say, wow, look at this. Look at these Roman remains. Maybe we can sit up there one day and have a little look at it in the van jump out what we missed and just go on and take some pictures but this is a challenge this is unreal and um, it's August 3rd, 4th and 5th supporters okay get on the boat tomorrow it'll be at the Walton Kirtel where we are and um, I'll do a couple of hours in there I know Liverpool are playing on the Sunday and it was a great result on the Thursday against Leicester did anyone notice that the atmosphere was a bit flat? Why is it atmosphere of all these games so flat midweek? I don't know. I can't understand it. Weekend, everyone's pumped up. What are they all taking? Why is it so noisy? Why are they all screaming at the Saturdays and Sundays? And midweek, like everyone, every fan's half asleep, and then they'll have a cheer. Because when Salah come on, that was the biggest cheer of the night, I must admit, even through the goals. But anyway, great performance. Louis, 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 Louis. What a new signing that we have. Wow. All the kids are all talking about him now. I'm talking about him. Everyone's respected him. Not the Luis Suarez, was he? This man is something different. And Yota. Wow, what a player. He's banging the goals in left, right and centre. And I had him in my fantasy team. Didn't do him captain. I was going to. It was between him and Alexander-Arnold. And I went for Arnold. Got 14 points. I could have doubled that with Yotta. Why didn't they do it? Anyway, anyone in that fantasy team, it's one of those things, isn't it? You start off well, and then suddenly everyone stops scoring. But I've had a, a good little run at the start of this one. Anyway, I'll keep you informed on that. But um, Louis Diaz, wow, what a player. Come on. Anyway, we've got three minutes. Three minutes left in the show. So if you're out and about at the Wanton Caretail tomorrow, please, please, loads of respect. I've been in touch with ref for me. I'm wondering whether they're going to be sponsoring our ref support. Well, yeah, you could say that. Um, our ref spec awareness weekend, not just the weekend, our award for grassroots football. They did last year. If they come back to us, we'll definitely let you know tomorrow because I know they're very quickly coming back to me, no matter who they are. All these, honestly, all these organisations, the ref organisations, we're in talks every single day and we're just supporting you. We want your support. We need your support and I'm giving you, with the Don't Cross the Line, with the Respect campaign, with our Hearts of Gold initiatives and with No Ref No Game initiative, we're supporting you, we're getting there, we're doing something that's different, making a difference, bringing people together like we did and like we have been since 2003. Can you support us? That's all we need. Go onto our website, go onto our channel, DXTL TV from the Touchlands. You can subscribe free. We need loads of subscribers. And we know we'll get them in when the young commentators start having their own show. Because it's going to be their own show. And we give them a day during the week when they can come up, take the seat, and I'll be out the way. And I'll just leave them to them, say nothing. And it'll be their show. And they'll be filling you in with all kinds. TikTok, get on their TikTok page. The kids' voice box, look, voice box, look for them. They're all about having a laugh. They're all about... Break, making a difference. They've joined us with Ref Specs and Don't Cross the Line. And look at the t-shirts. That speaks volumes. They speak volumes. They speak good sense. Getting loads of reports back off them saying they're very, very crack. Well, they're really good. The knowledge of those kids is extra special. I want to take a back seat. I want to leave it to their show. I don't want to come in. I don't want to answer. I don't want to take it as mine. I want to make it the young commentator's show. I'm only sitting in to guide them along the way, but they're trying to bring me in. And as you can see that, what more could you ask for? That is it. The confidence is really kicking in. And we should have at least five of them next week. And that's what we've done it down to. The Super Five, who will be doing their celebrity interviews very soon indeed. They start. Join this show. Watch this space. And we'll be back again tomorrow evening at 7. Thanks very much for joining into the show. 
the grassroots show last night, tonight, and also our listeners as well on SoundCloud, MixCloud. We love you loads, honestly we do, all around the world. So for myself and Alde and all the team here at the Grassroots Show, don't cross the line, respect campaign, heart of gold initiatives, no ref, no game. We'll see you tomorrow at 7. Have a great evening. Good night, God bless.